my name's Jess. I'm a comedian from Brooklyn. And I was wondering, I have a history of coronary artery disease in my family. And how can I not get it as I get older? What can I do to prevent it? That's a very good question, Jess. Family history is one of many things that may increase your chances of developing coronary artery disease or having a heart attack. Hi, I'm Dr. Jacqueline Tamas Holland, an interventional cardiologist at St. Luke's and Roosevelt Hospitals. For the record, here are some of the risk factors that may contribute to the development of coronary artery disease. In addition to family history, which I've already mentioned, there's your age, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, obesity, and a lack of exercise. And even if you don't have any risk factors, you may still develop this disease. It's especially important that you understand that heart disease is as much a problem for women as it is for men. All too often, women underestimate their risk for developing heart disease. Therefore, everyone should see a doctor for a formal evaluation. Your doctor will likely check your blood pressure, do a general physical exam, as well as an electrocardiogram, and check your cholesterol and sugar levels. Based on the results, your doctor may advise you to take medications or to do additional tests. In general, we recommend that you avoid smoking, follow a diet that is low in saturated fats and cholesterol, and do some form of exercise at least 30 minutes a day most days of the week. St. Luke's Roosevelt is a leader in cardiac care. We have the experience to stop coronary artery disease in its tracks.